What is going on Collectors Optical 20 back for another video preview today. We're going to take a look at Scorched Xenomorph from Alien Romulus. I haven't seen the movie, but if you are interested in this figure, you can pre-order it at BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put the link down below. Beautiful figure. I've always wanted to have a Xenomorph, Alien, whatever it is. Uh, they, they got different names. Big Chap, whatever. Uh, I know they're different, but you know, I've never had an alien figure. The, the, I, I guess the, the first one for those who are kind of new, they're, they're kind of like a build a figure, kind of like predator or whatever. And then the most recent one when I was already collecting was, I think it's the warrior predator or something like that. Not predator, uh, warrior xenomorph that it decays on the jawline. Like it's cause it's rubber. And, and I'm looking at this where I, that deterred me from buying that. It's just, you know, you don't want your figure that is worth, I believe at that time, it's more expensive. I think it's like $320 uh, that is decaying only a few months after you buy them. This one, as you can see, it has an interchangeable, uh, I couldn't read that, but it also has an extendable jaw, which means you can open and close it. And that's when the problem occurred i believe from the previous uh xenomorph is that the the rubber is just deteriorating i hope it is not the same case for this but uh, correct me if I'm, uh, this is a beautiful design by the way because you can see the skull from the inside and then you get an articulated face hugger as well um the base is also lit up uh you can see from the bottom there i'm not a big fan of the base because it's the one that's takes up a lot of space uh, but it looks like it, I mean, for this, the elbow doesn't bother me as much. I hope there's no rubber on the elbow areas to avoid, again, one of those damages. But I like, you know, I can see his tail is articulated. It can, that, that post right there is just beautiful. It's just symmetrical. It's just really nice. The paint application. I did, however, find out this is the base, by the way. It has a lot of goo in it. And then you know, the, the panel is kind of like a graded metal that you can see from underneath. It's really nice. I'm glad uh, the pole is actually transparent because um, he is a very, he's a tall guy, a tall figure, but it's very skinny. So you don't want anything overpowering him. Like he has a third leg or something. Uh, so I like that they did that. I'm excited for this. Um, again, like I said, very iconic. I have to see the movie. It's sitting on my Disney Plus Hulu. Uh, I've been I've been staring at it. Maybe tomorrow. There, I'm off tomorrow, so maybe I'll I'll go ahead and give it a watch. I don't know why I chose to watch Star Wars before this, but that's what I did yesterday. Uh, but nonetheless, it comes with a, you know, a few pair of hands. I love it. You know, it's one of those figures where. You need to have at least one if you are just a figure collector or a fan of just hot toys in general. You need to have at least at least one Predator, one of these, and one Arnold, you know, if not more. Obviously, I'm, I'm leaning towards more, but I'm just saying you need to have one of, one of each at, at a minimum. But I love it. I love the look of it. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to like it more once I see the movie because it has some positive you know, vibes to it. You can, the leg can actually move up quite well on this pose right here. Was he kneeling? He, I think he was kneeling. Yeah, so that's pretty cool that, you know, they, they had to make it like a toy uh, and not cover the entire figure up in rubber so it could move freely. I mean, they did a, a good job hiding those joints to begin with. I mean, I mean because you can get away with that because of this kind of... Uh, a species so it's okay if you have some separation in the sh shoulder i would even say that this the the elbows needs to be at least double jointed i mean you can get away with it if if you're good at painting stuff you know you, you and hot toys is very good at painting these kind of you know figures but it looks great man the one thing that the I, i've seen people online mention is that this is not the same as what Hot Toys showed in their kind of like uh, previews. Not previews, but, you know, in one of their cons. So it's a different color. So does that mean we are going to get another variant of Xenomorph? Which that would be cool. Uh, I mean, if you feel, I mean, I haven't, like I said, I haven't seen the movie. 
But if you feel that that is the case and you're leaning towards more into that look, I would hold off pre-ordering this guy. I don't think this is going to go waitlist right away. Because um, the last thing you want to do, if, if that is the case, like I said, I haven't seen the movie. And if you're leaning towards that color, because uh, you don't want to get Deadpooled in here. As you know, the, the most recent Deadpool where they someone else doesn't even have a Deadpool yet. And yet there's rumors circulating that there's another Deadpool with Ryan Reynolds' uh, head sculpt included in there. So you don't want to be... Deadpool, so to speak, or if you want to call it uh, Mandalorian, you know, so you don't want to be that. If you, if that's the case, you might want to hold off. For me, either way, I'm okay. I, I just wanted a Xenomorph in my collection. But hey, you know, I, I'm not going to pre-order this right away. So I'm going to wait and look and see, you know, I, I'm probably not even going to pre-order this. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just going to wait till it hits, till it drops, and then I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up then. So far, that, that, that technique has worked for me. Um, so I'm going to continue doing that because, you know, I've been getting my Black Adams, you know, when it was sold out. I got it. I, I'm i sure I'll get my Deadpool eventually. I didn't pre-order that. So that's that's going to work, you know, better for me. But yeah, let me know in the comments. How do you feel about this figure? Like I said, I haven't seen the movie. So, you know, take it for what it is. Is there something wrong with the figure that you can see? Is there something that you want to add? I would love to hear your thoughts. Or do you want to see more alien figures moving forward? I know we are all waiting for Ripley. Uh, maybe that that maybe that's a good idea for an artisan Ripley. You know, who knows? A power loader, you know, those kind of stuff. I don't know if that's actually going to happen. But hey, a man can wish, right? Like, bring on the 80s. I, I love 80s. Even though Romulus is not technically 80s, but the IP is from the 80s. So I'm all for it. But thank you for watching. Hopefully you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.